Hello and thanks for downloading SEO Content Machine. If you are a new user, stay tuned as in this video, I'm going to go through all the tools that this application has so that you don't get overwhelmed. Once you've finished downloading and installing SEO Content Machine, you're going to log in first and then it's going to bring you to the main UI. The main UI is broken into two sections. On the left hand side, you have your menu and this is a link to all the tools that SEO Content Machine has. As you can see, there's quite a lot of tools, however, for the first time beginner. So your most important tools are your mass article creator and your writing assistant. Now your mass article creator is for those of you who need lots of content for your link building programs. And a writing assistant is for those that want to write high quality, very unique content for their money website. So the mass article creator is for link building programs such as GSA SER, or maybe some online tool such as Ranker X. Additionally, if you're about to build your own PBN, that is private blog network, Mass Article Creator is a tool you want to use. So to get started, we're going to click on the new article creator button. So there's a bunch of tabs at the very top that bring you through the different sections of the tool and the settings appear in the middle. And on the right hand side, you have the help menu. Now for every tool in SEO Content Machine, there's a very in-depth YouTube video. So for the article creator, you want to click on the article creator tutorial link here. I'm not going to go in depth with the mass article creator. Instead, I'm going to give you a quick overview. For example, here we can put in an article keyword. If you look down at the different article types we can create, you've got preloaded templates for link building programs, GSA SER peers, SE Nuke, Xeno Poster. As we scroll down into article size, you see there's a article count number here. We can create hundreds, if not thousands of articles and we can choose exactly how many paragraphs are in these articles. If you are not exactly sure how many articles you want to create, you can select the Create Unique drop-down and the article count is removed and instead it's going to create as many unique ones as it can. And a limit to how many unique articles you can create will be based on your search results limit. Additionally, the more paragraphs you put into your article, the least unique articles it can create. By playing with these sliders and looking at the estimates here, you get a good idea of how many articles you can expect at the end of your run. One thing that I'm going to give you, which is very important for a new user, is if you're going to use multiple keywords, by default, each keyword appears in its own article. Sometimes you might have multiple keywords that are actually related. My recommendation for you is to select the article HTML keyword as title, and then instead of having one keyword per article, you actually click on the all keywords in article. That way you can have one article with three different sections and each section is provided by each article keyword you have noted. Next to your generic article settings, you have content inserts. So there's a whole bunch here. Custom content is where you can insert your own content. If you already have a bunch of content on your hard drive you want to reuse, import local content is where you want to go to. There is a bunch of URL and content filtering. And I suggest you click on these links here to watch the videos to get an in-depth on how that works. Here is where you can insert links into your auto-generated articles. Once you finish, you click run or save. Your task will appear in the list. And if you set it to run, or if you need to restart task, click on this button here. Once your task is running, click on the task name and below it is the task log. And this shows you each step the task is taking to create your content. Now this button here is the copy task log button. If you have an error or the output of your article doesn't match what you are trying to create, it's important that you copy this task log and either go to send feedback or contact us. You can send an email to me and as long as you paste in your task log, it allows me to see what steps have been taken and give you advice on either how to fix the error or how to improve the output of your article. Once the article creator has finished running and there are two buttons, one is the blue preview article button and the other one is the green explore article folder. If you click on the green button, it will open up the folder where your articles are stored. When you click on the article preview screen, it's going to load the most newest article on the left hand side and show you a HTML preview of what the article looks like on the right hand side. If you are new to content creation, you might notice these weird looking symbols. Now these are called spin tags symbols and it's a way of creating content that is more unique every time you reuse it. If I click on update preview, you notice that the content on the right hand side keeps changing and that's because of this spin text code. If you look at the article on the right hand side and you like what the preview is, you can save it. 
If you are using a link building program, it will most undoubtedly already support your article with this spin text. So you don't need to save any previews, you just take the source code with the spin text symbols and you upload it to your link building program. Moving on, we have the writing assistant. So how this is different is that it's to help you write content. So if your manual process of writing content now is to type in your keyword into Google, look at the top 10 ranking pages, open them up and then copy and paste whatever content you find in there, aggregate all that content and use that as research to start writing your new content. A writing assistant does exactly this, but it automates the entire process for you. Click on new writing assistant and here is my keyword for today. Click run. When my task is running, I can always click on its name to see the process of the task in the log. Once your task is finished running, I'm going to click on the name and it's going to load me into the writing assistant interface. On the left hand side here is a counter for how many percent before you complete your article. And under that is a list of keywords recommended in your article to see the entire list of related keywords for this article keyword. We just click on the keywords list and here we can remove and add focus keywords. And on the right hand side, we have a list of all sentences related to your green tea keyword. If there were any questions, it will also appear here and also a list of all headings that were found online. So how this interface works is if I click on a keyword, it's going to start filtering the sentences, questions and headings. Every time I click on a sentence, it gets added as research into my article. Now one thing to note is once you add your research here, this content, because it's been pulled off online, is not unique, so you're going to have to rewrite it. But once you have your article as you like it, you can save it or you can copy it transfer yourself to the preview article tool, paste it in. Now if I go down to edit, rewrite, I can actually select a spinner and have it rewrite my content for me. You can see the spin text symbol has appeared and the article preview appears on the right hand side. That covers the usage of the two most important tools in SEO Content Machine. Below it are your scrapers. There are a bunch of different tools to help you get different types of content out the internet. You have your static and dynamic web page scrapers. For the new user, I suggest you start with dynamic web pages because a lot of websites nowadays won't load content unless you actually run JavaScript. And that's what the dynamic web page does. Your static web pages are for sites that don't use JavaScript. If you are scraping thousands of sites, your static web pages will run a little bit faster because it doesn't need to run through a proper browser. However, let's say you want to scrape Amazon products, your dynamic web pages is where you want to go. There's the ability to just download, let's say, the top 10 pages from Bing or Google, either search or news. And this is the tool you want to go to for that. We have an archive.org scraper as well, so you can download content which has been archived online, which is no longer available on the internet publicly. We have a URL scraper, so you can download URLs and filter them. We have an image scraper. By default, all your images in your mass article creator are not Creative Commons or copyright free. Here you can type in a keyword, let's say cat. Click on the Find All Creative Commons, click Search. And what this will do is will go out and find only copyright free images online. As for which image you want to use, you can click on individual images. You can see the selection count number has increased. The options are you can copy the actual data URL of the image. And what this means is you copy the image embedded into your article. So no hot linked image and the image actually is saved into your article. The only downside is of course your article size will be larger because you have an embedded image in them. If you don't need that, you can just copy the image URL source. And finally, you can save these images onto your hard drive for further processing. We have a video scraper. So this is going to go to YouTube and find videos based on a keyword. We have additional tools which you might not need to use right now, but might come in handy later on. The first is your upload post tool. What this does is it uploads created content on your hard drive to a WordPress blog. If you have existing content on your hard drive, which you need to spin and translate in bulk. If you're trying to create a profile or an about me snippet, for example, I'm going to generate one. You can see the preview of what the about me looks like on the right hand side. If you have a bunch of keywords that you need to combine to create new keywords, 
we have a CSV mail merge. All it does is it takes one template article, which is already pre-filled with a bunch of macros inside. And then you have another source article, which is a CSV file. And you combine your CSV file with your template file. And as you've previously seen, we have the preview article tool. And inside the mass article creator, when I showed you the list of templates that were available, here is where you can actually copy, clone them, edit them, and make your own article templates. Finally, we have a settings box. You're probably not going to go into here until you start using SEO Content Machine more. But the most important setting here is your default search engine. It's loaded to use Google, but you can also use Bing. Now, why would you use Google? Why would you use Bing? By default, Google returns you the most relevant content. But the downside is after a while, you can look at about 30 to 45 searches an hour. You're going to start getting Google capture requests. And these Google capture requests will require capture credits to solve automatically for you. If you don't need that level of content detail, Bing does not have captures and are more lenient with the number of requests you can send per hour. If you have subscribed to any rewriting tools or translation tools or other content creator tools, this is where you actually enter your email and API keys to access these services within the SEO content machine tools. Finally, we have three help links. The first one is a change log to see when updates come in and what's been updated. We have a link to all the tutorial videos on YouTube. There's a contact us link within the application that you can click on if you need help. If you have any feedback, we have a very quick feedback box which you can fill out to get in contact with me at any time. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email info at seocontentmachine.com.